Hi everybody, I'm here with uh, Mary Mataba from Agri Service. We're in Oceanside, California. And Mary, thank you for having us, first of all. You're welcome. And I wanted to uh, maybe start with a quick overview of what it is we see behind us. If you could just walk us through that. Okay, so um, we are a green waste recycling facility and we also do some food waste here. What we have is receiving areas where people drop off, our customers drop off their uh, green waste, their limbs, their grass. And the first step in the composting process is that we grind using this tub grinder. We use a Vermeer tub grinder to um, do size reduction. And what that does is it helps start the decomposition process by increasing the surface area of the green waste. The next step is that we put our all of the um, ground up material on into what we call windrows, which are these long rows behind us here. These windrows um, are set atop a concrete pad that has aeration channels. So we push forced air into the during in into each of the windrows during the um, during the first month or so of composting. After that, it goes into curing piles where it sits for a while and everything stabilizes. And then you can see the red machine and the orange machine in the background there that, um, that screens the material. So it separates the fine compost from the coarser mulch. And during that process, we like to turn also. So we use the scarab turner, which is this white machine. So it's about a two month process altogether. Great. Thanks, Mary. Appreciate that. And it looks like uh, you guys, you do the compost, but then you also do some mulch as well. Is that uh, something you use different colors, different sizes? What's what's the variation there? So the, the variation with the mulch is that we do two different kinds of mulch products. And one is composted mulch and the other one is non-composted mulch. So it isn't so much a variation in the color, although the color is different, but it's the amount of carbon and moisture in the material. So there's so much woody type material inside these branches and, and limbs over here that, that it won't ever really heat up. So we just use that as a mulch and it's used on top of the ground to help control weeds, uh, air and wind erosion and conserve moisture. Great. Uh, so how about you? How did you get started with AgriService and uh, how did this facility come to be? I started AgriService in 1978 doing soil and plant tissue analysis for farmers. And one of the things that I noticed during the, during the time I was doing those, performing those services was that the lack of organic matter in our San Diego soils made a huge difference in how plants grew. And that when people added organic matter, the plants always seemed to do better. So in 1993, after the state came um, enacted Assembly Bill 939, which mandated recycling, the city of Oceanside and AgriService formed a partnership here at El Corazon, which is a former silica sand mine, to produce uh, compost out of the urban generated green waste. So we take in about 65,000 tons a year and we move out 65,000 tons a year. So it all goes to landscapers, homeowners, we make some engineered soils and this helps the city meet all of their mandates. And Oceanside is the only city in the entire county that recycles 100% of its yard trimmings. That's great, very nice. So yeah, I've seen uh, some of the residents coming to pick up uh, some for their backyards and you mentioned landscapers. Um, so that kind of completes the circle. What gives you the, the uh, inspiration to really get into the compost in the first place? The, the reason that I wanted to originally get into the composting business was to produce products that would help enhance our local soils. And then as I got more and more involved in the industry, I realized that when we put these, this organic matter into the landfill, it creates methane. And that methane, um, that methane is about 20 times more potent as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide is. And, and that was that's a huge benefit from composting. So we feel really good about being able to, to recycle a third of the Oceanside's waste stream right here in Oceanside. So we don't have to transport it anywhere else. It doesn't go into the landfill and it doesn't create those environmental problems. 
All right, well, thank you, Mary. Appreciate it. And uh, it's been great to see your facility. If you have any questions, visit RioTemp.com or give us a call.